everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear. Um, I'm just going to show you how to calibrate your um, XL multimeter. This is a XL830L. I've seen a lot of these on um, eBay and whatnot. Um, I uncalibrated mine when I changed the battery in it, so that was my fault. Uh, right now it's working at the right calibration. I'll show you, but then I'll um, take it apart and whatnot. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I lost one of the screws to it too. Let me show you the working voltage now for lithium ion that I just charged. It should be somewhere around here. I'm just going to use my um, Nightcore D4 IntelliCharger to um, compare it to. Um, here we go. So you can see that says 4.20 volts. Now we'll check the multimeter. Uh, how many volts that says okay so you can see the multimeter is reading uh, zero volts and it's reading the battery as 4.19 when the charger said it was 4.2 so we'll take it apart and we'll um, check out how it goes uh, when we play around with things okay so it's pretty easy to take apart you just undo these two screws. I've already undone one. I'll undo the other one now. There we go, that one's out. Uh, it just pulls apart. There's a couple of little clips you have to shake it. So pretty much what you want to do to calibrate it is you want to play around with this little part here. The 2JI. Um, don't worry about so much about touching anything else. Um, my one, I just put some tape over these ports um, just so that it... Um, doesn't move when I put the pins in the cords so it was reading at 4.19 volts I'm gonna try and get it close to 2 volts uh, you only need to move it the tiniest bit don't be like gallivanting crazy moving it just move it the tiniest little bit that was probably way too much but we'll check it out and we'll see what voltage it says I don't need my one to be exactly right, but I want it to be within a couple of volts. So now it's saying 4.22. I'm going to move it back down a little bit because I did move it a lot, up a lot. So, um, anti-clockwise is to take away voltage and clockwise is to add voltage. I don't have the most steady hands either. Now it's at 4.19 volts. Me, myself, I'm pretty happy with that, but I'll try and get it at 4.2 volts. Okay, guys, it is a little bit fiddly. Um, I've been fiddling around with it now, and I think I've got it perfect. There we go, 4.2 volts, the same as what my Nightcore D4 charger says. So I'm pretty happy um, calibrating it to my Nightcore D4. Um, I'm going to test it with another multimeter, which I don't have on me. I'll have to use one of my friends. But I'm pretty sure that um, this is pretty much close, to the, close enough. Um, before, when I changed the battery in it, what happened was um, I must have touched that and I changed the battery. And it was reading about... 4.08 for a fully charged lithium ion, which I meant to be 4.2. So I thought that there was something wrong with all my cells, and I thought that my charger wasn't charging it properly. But then I realized it was actually the multimeter that wasn't reading properly. So I just took it apart, had a little fiddle with it, and that's about it. So all you got to do is just fiddle with that. Um, turn it left, so anti-clockwise to lessen the voltage. And turn it right clockwise to um, increase the voltage. Alright guys, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear. I'm showing you how to tune your multimeter. Thanks for watching and as always, like and subscribe.